Hi, I'm Abby from Ratings.com. So you're considering buying the Sony Bravia 9, the best LED TV on the market. Good for you. What's that? You're wondering if you could save some money by going for a mid-range OLED instead, like the LG C4? Huh, that's a very good question. And the Sony Bravia 9's ridiculously good contrast compete with the perfect contrast of an OLED. If it can't, then can its high peak brightness compensate for it? And is it good enough for gamers? My my, we have a lot of questions to answer, so we better get to it. As with most of our comparison videos, we'll emphasize the differences between these two TVs instead of rehashing their similarities. We'll cover build quality, contrast, HDR and SDR brightness, color gamut and color volume, viewing angle and reflections, and the TV's gaming performance. Like most modern TVs, these two models look mostly similar from the front. The C4's bezels are a bit thinner than the Bravia 9's, and the Sony has a decidedly chunkier bottom bezel. But overall, similar. Of course, the real differences lie below the screens. They're stands. The LG C4 opts for a sleek, center-mounted stand, which is metal in the front, but plastic in the back. The Bravia 9 instead opts for a set of metal feet. While the LG stand is functional, as with other center-mounted stands, it does noticeably wobble when pushed. The stand lifts the TV about 2.7 inches from the table, which is high enough for many soundbars. The Sony's feet are sturdier, and they can be placed in multiple positions to boot. Horizontally, you can place the feet in a narrow position, which is great for smaller tables, and a wider position, which is great for increased stability. You can also set them to a low or high position. The latter lifts the TV about 3.7 inches from the table, making it great to place a soundbar below the screen. You can also mount both TVs using their VESA mounting points, although neither TV comes with a wall mount included in the box. For cable management, the Bravia 9 has plastic covers which you can hide your cables behind, and you can funnel the cables through the TV's feet. The LG C4 has clips that can be installed on the TV's back panel, there's a small cover that goes over the power cable, and even a small clip behind the stand. You can route your cables through all of these, letting you tidy up your cables quite a bit. The ports on both TVs are on the left when viewed from the front. On the Sony, they're very close to the TV's edge, while they're pushed back towards the middle on the LG, so the Bravia 9's inputs are easier to access if you have the TV wall mounted. As for the inputs themselves, the C4 has four HDMI 2.1 ports, while the Sony also has four HDMI ports, but only two are 2.1 ports. To make matters worse, one of the Sony's HDMI 2.1 ports is also the ER port, so you'll lose it if you have a soundbar connected to your TV through HDMI. The C4 is also capable of up to 4K at 144Hz on all of its HDMI 2.1 ports, while the Sony is limited to 4K at 120Hz. Ouch. At least they both pass through all major audio formats from Dolby and DTS, and support the popular Dolby Vision HDR format. The C4 has three USB 2.0 ports, a LAN port, an optical digital audio out port, and an antenna connection. The Bravia 9 has the same, although it trades three USB 2.0 ports for one 2.0 port and one 3.0 port. The Sony has an ATSC 3.0 tuner, so you can watch 4K content over the air, while the LG is limited to good old 1.0, which is limited to 1080p. Ah, OLED versus LED, the battle of our lives. This, however, is different. Can a mid-range OLED compete, or even outperform, a high-end LED TV? When it comes to contrast, it sure can. Listen, there's no two ways about it. No matter how many dimming zones an LED TV has, in this case 1512, it can't really compete with the millions of dimming zones on an OLED, since each individual pixel acts as its own individual zone. Sure, the Bravia 9 has some of the best contrast we've ever seen on an LED TV, but it still can't quite compete with the LG C4. Plus, the OLED has no blooming whatsoever, and no zone transitions since it doesn't have a backlight. The Sony performs fantastically well here too, but it can't compete with perfection. No one can. Of course, things are different when it comes to peak brightness. The Sony Bravia 9 outpaces the LG C4 here, especially in test slides. When tested with a series of different size squares, the Sony can output much brighter white squares than the LG C4 can. However, the two TVs are surprisingly close when it comes to real content. This is likely due to how complex real scenes can get. 
The Sony emphasizes bright highlights and dark shadows using only 1512 dimming zones, requiring it to adjust the TV's backlight dynamically based on the content. The LG C4 doesn't have this issue due to being able to instantly turn off each individual pixel, letting it truly push bright highlights without having to worry about any dark zones around them. The Sony Bravia 9 still outperforms the C4 here, and it'll be noticeably brighter in most content mastered at 4000 nits and some content mastered at 1000 nits, but overall, in most content, the two TVs are closer than you'd expect them to be. Except perhaps in game mode, but more on that later. Now, where the two TVs are decidedly not close is in their SDR brightness. LED TVs typically dominate OLEDs here, and the Bravia 9 is the best LED TV we've ever reviewed. It's capable of reaching around 1005 nits in our real scene test, while the LG C4 gets about 411 nits. This is significantly dimmer, as 400 nits is just bright enough to overcome bright lights, but not enough to truly make the TV pop in a bright room. For some people, it might even be a tad too dim in darker rooms, as you might find some SDR content, like SDR video games, dim looking when compared to how vibrant the TV looks in HDR. If you consume a lot of SDR content, the Sony has the obvious edge here. Both TVs have an equally wide color gamut, although the LG C4 covers almost the entirety of the DCI-P3 color space used in most HDR content. The Sony is close here, but doesn't quite match the C4. On the flip side, the Sony covers a bit more of the Rec 2020 color space, which is used in some animated movies and nature documentaries. So if you like to watch a lot of those, the Sony has you covered, although the LG still performs almost as well here. Where the Sony has a clearer edge over the LG is in color volume, as it's correlated with the TV's HDR brightness. Typically, the brighter a TV gets, the brighter its colors are going to be. If you're watching content mastered at 1000 and 4000 nits, the Sony's colors are going to be very vibrant indeed. The LG C4 is still great here, but it's still a step down from the Bravia 9. Both TVs have tremendous reflection handling, with the C4 having a barely noticeable edge. The biggest difference between the two is the Sony Bravia 9's noticeable rainbow smearing. Not everyone is bothered by this, but for those of you who are, the LG doesn't have it. For most people though, the two products are very nearly equivalent. Where they are not equivalent is in their viewing angles. The Sony Bravia isn't bad at all for an LED TV, but it's still mediocre overall. The C4 is a bit worse than usual for an OLED due to having a noticeable green tint when viewed at a moderate angle. There's no doubt that it's still vastly superior to the Sony, and it's the TV to get if you're hoping to host large parties with wide viewing arrangements. Another OLED advantage, screen uniformity. The Sony is decent here, but the LG C4 is excellent. Like on many OLEDs, you may notice vertical lines on the C4, but they're very faint, and you really need to look for them. Although, from a normal viewing distance, you won't notice them. The Sony, however, has dirty screen effect in the middle of the screen, and the edges of the screen are darker than the middle. This is noticeable in some content, especially content with large areas of bright uniform color, such as a hockey rink. Gray uniformity is panel dependent, and every TV will differ slightly, but it's fair to assume that the LG C4 will have better uniformity than the Sony Bravia 9, regardless of panel variance. We won't linger on image processing too much, but one of the most interesting developments of the last couple years is how much LG has caught up with Sony when it comes to image processing. Sony still has the edge when it comes to its HDR native gradient handling, and more so when it comes to upscaling performance, but the C4 is still very good in both. The C4 has a very small edge in low quality content smoothing. Overall, you'll be very happy for both, and unless you watch a ton of low resolution content, feel free to consider these two products almost equivalent. OLEDs are kind of the kings and queens of gaming, and it's mostly the same story here. But let's start with a bummer. Why, LG? Why? The LG B4 and the LG G4 lose none of their brightness when the TVs are in their game optimizer modes. But the C4? Noticeably dimmer. If you go on YouTube, you'll find tons of ways on how to bypass this on LG's past models like the C2 and C3. And you're likely to need the same here if you're bothered by the brightness loss. Don't misunderstand us, it's still very bright overall and provides an impactful HDR experience, but you'll notice the drop if you swap between Game Optimizer and the other display modes while playing HDR games. 
The Sony Bravia 9 is a bit dimmer in game mode, but it's extremely slight, and you won't notice it. Since it's already a brighter TV than the C4, in game mode it is even more so. Here's hoping that the eventual LG C5 won't have this issue. Alright, now the LG C4 is back on track. The C4 has noticeably lower input lag than the Bravia 9. If you aren't a competitive gamer, you probably won't be able to notice it, but the C4 is almost twice as fast as the Bravia 9 at all resolutions. Plus, the C4 is the only one of the two capable of gaming at 144Hz. It reaches levels of performance here that the Bravia can't quite tap. Again, not a competitive gamer, it won't really matter. It also certainly won't matter to anyone spending upwards of a thousand hours in games like Baldur's Gate 3 and Skyrim, although it might matter for those of you doing the same in Elden Ring. Overall, if you care about input lag, look at the C4. If you're not sure if you should care, they're both amazing. The Sony Bravia 9's response time is truly excellent, especially for an LED TV but the C4's response time is nearly instantaneous, giving you a nearly blur-free gaming experience. There's still some persistence blur on the OLED when gaming at 60Hz, but it's not noticeable at higher refresh rates. Take note that a low response time is also great when watching sports, as it leads to crisp action when players or objects are moving rapidly across the screen. However, some people are bothered by stuttering on OLEDs when watching certain sports, like football. OLEDs are so fast that at lower frame rates, like 24 FPS or 30 FPS, content can appear to stutter, as if you could see the individual steps between each frame when normally you would expect each to blend seamlessly into the next. LEDs don't suffer from this nearly as much due to their slower response time. The blur behind fast-moving content on LEDs acts as a buffer against stutter. If OLED stutter bothers you, we recommend you play with your TV's motion interpolation settings, and both LG and Sony have great presets here to get you started. Alright, so what's up with these two TVs? Well, what this comparison shows us is that even the best LED TV we've tested is up against tough competition from the OLED market. And even a mid-range model like the LG C4 offers incredible performance, making these two models pretty evenly matched. However, the Sony Bravia 9 has the clear edge if you plan on watching SDR content, or plan on placing this in a very bright room. But the nearly perfect contrast of the OLED still gives it the edge in a moderately lit to dark room when watching HDR content. The LG C4 is also the far better TV for gaming, and while its lower HDR brightness in game mode is an annoyance, there are ways around it if it bothers you. It also doesn't help that the Sony Bravia 9 is significantly more expensive than the LG C4. It's a tough sell, although it can be a showcase piece in your living room if you're willing to buy it. If you're shopping for a Sony LED TV, we'd instead recommend the cheaper Sony Bravia 7. We've already filmed a video comparing the Bravia 7 to the Bravia 9, which you can see by clicking here. But the gist of it is that while the Bravia 9 is indeed brighter than the 7, they're still rather close. Bravia 7 looks similar to the Bravia 9 in most HDR content, although it does have worse contrast than its more expensive sibling. The biggest bummer with the Bravia 7 is its far worse reflection handling. In very bright rooms, glare is much more noticeable on the 7 than on the 9. But for nearly half the price, it's certainly worth considering, as it is better value. Inversely, if you're looking for an alternative to the LG C4, then you might want to consider the Samsung S90D. The Samsung avoids most of the C4's pitfalls. It's brighter in HDR content, and it doesn't lose any of its brightness in game mode. It also has a better viewing angle than the C4, due to having no green tint whatsoever. When it comes to image processing, the S90D struggles a bit in cleaning up low-quality content, but it's one of the best TVs on the market for HDR native gradient handling. The real disadvantage with the Samsung S90D is its lack of DTS advanced audio format support and Dolby Vision. Does it matter? Well, it can matter, depending on the content you watch and if you like to get the best sound out of your physical media. For most people, however, it's probably not a big deal, and it'll give you the best overall image quality in most contexts. That's all for our comparison of the LG C4 and Sony Bravia 9. If you want a more detailed write-up on the TVs, or a more detailed comparison, check out the links in the description below. Until next time, I'm Abby from Ratings.com, where we help you find the best product for your needs. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Are you all right?
I'm all right. Okay, good. Just make sure. All right, sure. all right, all right. <laughs>